Protesters rallied in the streets of St. Paul, Minnesota, day two of the Republican National Convention. But between the protesters and the convention stood police in riot gear and roars of the Republican crowd. USA! Laura, the president, Joe Lieberman, all these speakers were wonderful, just wonderful. President Bush and the First Lady shared a few words of support. But it was former Democrat turned independent Senator Joe Lieberman that sealed day two of the RNC. For our country and our people and that one is John S. McCain. All speakers took jabs at the Democrats and defended John McCain's vice presidential pick, Governor Sarah Palin, who was expected to speak day three of the RNC. Uh, you know, uh, they've been uh, saying a lot of things about her and a lot of things about her family and trying to drag her down and so forth and uh, uh, imply that she's not experienced, doesn't know what she's doing and so forth. Well, the proof's in the pudding and we're about to see the pudding tonight. And I know that she's been pressured because she has five children and it just makes me wonder if a man who was going to be vice president had five children, if that would still be a topic. As a woman myself, a in woman. such a, such a male-dominated industry, I think that it's uh, important for her to really be assertive and to stand up for herself and show that women are just as powerful and can you know, prove themselves to, be, to run this country just as well as a man. Despite both the Democratic and Republicans' reluctance to bring Palin's pregnant teen daughter into the public, McCain was greeted by the Palin family, including expecting father Levi Johnson. This is Daryl Harrison for NYPost.com.